Yes, we are with four-time champ Anna Zatonski. Anna, it seems like it's been a long time coming getting a win in this tournament. Why is it so hard? <laughs> Our competition is getting stronger, I'm not getting younger, and <laughs> I'm unfortunately I'm in like terrible form here. It's like probably my so far worst tournament ever, I would say. Unfortunately, in Corona times, I have two kids, and I was like very busy, like in everyday needs, and I completely didn't study. <laughs> didn't get ready for this one. Uh, this game, tell us about it. It looked like you had a good position. Pretty early on, where was actually, the mistake? Actually, I didn't understand why why he gave uh, she gave up opponent b7. Why not knight d5? All right, uh, from the opening you had played knight d2, and no, but I think after uh, yes, e6. I don't e6 like her e6 move. Mm -hmm. Yes, e6, e5. Strategically, I have very good chances after this. Right, right. So already she was in trouble allowing this move. Yes, e5. Uh, I was thinking I was thinking to play e5 uh, instead of castle was al also interesting. Also Maybe right. just transposition. Of just course. to get it, and then once you got this position, it looked very good for you. And now you're saying there was a moment when she gave her the pawn on b7, which we can rush right to here. So Yes. Oh, it was a mistake. Knight, knight takes b7 is a mistake. The computer has uh, very high standards. <laughs> okay. Very, so very I, high okay, standards. Okay, my I second mean, choice was queen c5, but, but why, why, why not knight? I, uh, I think he wanted to go uh, rook to b1 and take on b7 with the rook, which just ah, completely maybe, maybe kills this black's was even, position. Wow. Yeah, it, it, maybe it, thinks, it was even better. It thinks if you don't play its move, its best move, <laughs> it doesn't like you, and it's going to evaluate you <laughs> really bad. No, but after, after uh, knight takes b7, I think my position is very good, right? Yes, yes. of course. Yes. Of course. Still, don't, don't, look at those, uh, don't look at those evaluations. And, uh, and then you just got a good position in... It didn't look like she had much of a chance, especially here, down upon... Yeah, and I'm very happy that I was not in the time pressure. Okay, I, I, a little bit, just two minutes was uh, just worse. <laughs> and, uh, like, very happy with my time management by the end of the game. Uh, there was a very dynamic moment in the game that we are going to discuss with you as we get to the very finish of this mm -hmm. game, since you were winning for so much. Right here, you did have a spectacular combination the move knight takes e6 was winning Good. beautifully mm -hmm. did you notice knight, it? knight takes e6 uh, and uh, bishop takes bishop takes in rook c8 or what no no rook c8 immediately wow <laughs> that's pretty yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's very it pretty nice but thing. i don't know like i i was uh, i was taught uh, so if you have a chance to like uh, Checkmate or win a queen just to go, go for queen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw 94 is winning without sacrificing anything. So that's like, what that's the topic that we're actually going to get into. Maybe you can join us for this topic. The idea of aesthetics in chess versus practicality. Magnus Carlsen himself has said he prefers to win without sacrificing. But now that you've seen the move knight takes e6 and rook c8 versus your move 94, which just basically forces yeah. resignation. Which one would you prefer to have played? Or would you no, prefer okay, what you did honestly, or the other? I didn't see it because I didn't look. If, mm -hmm. I would, didn't, uh, uh, if I wouldn't have knight e4, so maybe I would see this uh, combination. It's but now that crazy. you have seen it, would you have preferred to play it? Okay, let me take a look one more <laughs> again. <laughs> now, let's see, here it is, knight e6. No, no, but I, I, can, I can tell you that I'm in terrible form in this tournament. Mm -hmm. Like my calcul, I don't see board. I don't know what happened. Uh, and uh, right now, I will go for practical. I wouldn't 94. go for sacrifice. I wouldn't risk it. But like when I'm in normal, my in good shape and good form, I will, I love also like some aesthetic. It's some aesthetic. really cool. I would go for this. Yeah. Right. Kind of idea. All right. <laughs> Ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have a win. It looks like for Sam Shanklin in that game. Wow. So Sam coming back as well. All right. We'll let you go. Uh, before before we let you go though, now that you have won this game, do you feel like you're coming back a little bit, or are you just you know, this is not like it's, it looks like your very, tournament. Yeah, it's, it's very diffi uh, difficult to say. I think it's it's not my tournament. <laughs> oh, it's still... very, I, I don't know what, what's going on. It's just not me who is playing and uh, I don't have, uh, okay, I'm not feeling well. This is one explanation. And, uh, but still, even if uh, in bad uh, condition, I should play better than, <laughs> than I did. No, it's uh, simply this blunder, so which, which I did, it's, uh, unacceptable for me. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll let you get some rest and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Good luck, uh, Anna.